Hey, your boy Baba Beast here. I want to talk about a subject that comes to mind, and that is what I think Ghost is doing. Why I believe Ghost faked his death. Let's be real about it. Now, what I think was really the dead giveaway about whether Ghost faked his death or not was pretty much the situation where um, Tyreek helped Tommy fake his death so the FBI wouldn't come after him. Come on, man. Tyreek, if Tyreek can come up with somebody faking their death, how come Ghost couldn't do that? Not only that, the fact that he had a closed class skip funeral. And the thing is, he did not receive any damage. Like, he didn't get shot in the face or anything like that. Bro just got shot in the chest. It could have been an open casket funeral, but he didn't get it. There's a lot of things that hint at the fact that Ghost could be dead or alive. There's even the whole RIP thing. Now, Courtney Kemp said it wasn't a decision of hers to um, not give Ghost an RIP, but rather a decision of stars. So with that being said, stars may be the one who brings uh, or bring Ghost back to life. You never know. When it comes down to it, though, what do I think Ghost is doing? Well, this is what I think Ghost is doing. I told you guys I think that he's watching Tyreek. He's watching Tasha. He's watching Tommy. So he's keeping a close eye on people that he apparently look at in life or people he loves. I do think that's true. And Yasmin. Do not forget about Yasmin. I think what he's doing right now is that he's working for the government. Meaning that what happened with Ghost, I think it was all a cover up. And, and and it's a situation Now let's be real about it This man was going to become lieutenant governor Now usually when they know somebody's going to win the election or, or anything like that Secret service comes in immediately with protection Basically secret service does not only protect the president Secret service protects the governor Lieutenant governor Things of that nature Heck I even say I want to say mayors can get secret service protection to some degree But the whole thing I'm trying to say when it comes down to it is that how, Where was Ghost's uh, secret service protection? Where were they at? This is what I think. I think the man knew Tyreek was going to come shoot him. I think he knew what was going on. And the Secret Service probably did too. Because one thing about Secret Service, Secret Service keeps information not only on you, but people that's close to you. And I'm pretty sure Ghost gave them the phone numbers and names and stuff of that nature. Now, Ghost is smart enough not to reveal the drug trafficking thing. But let's be real. Governors know who drug dealers are and things of that nature. So even though Ghost was able to beat, you know, everybody and, and prove that he's not a drug dealer and become lieutenant governor, it's a situation where somebody else probably knew now a lot of people said that ramona has something to do with protecting ghosts i wouldn't deny that who else uh what what stanfield the dude I'm, I'm probably saying his name wrong but you know the dude i'm talking about the rich guy he he probably helped ghosts as well what i think happened is is that ghost right now is in a situation where okay he's faking his death he's gonna come back but for right now he's helping out the government now one thing we know about the government whether you guys like it or not the government uh, or one of the biggest things people believe about the government is that the government deals drugs. <laughs> so what do I think is happening? There's a war taking place in America currently. It's been going on over 10 years. Um, and it's the government's war against Mexico or, or the war against the cartel. Now, this is real. This is actually happening. Basically, the American government is involved with this war. American's government teams up with the Mexican government to take down the cartels. Now, in truth and in reality, and according to what I hear, I don't know if it's true or not, but some of the cartels may or may not work with the Mexican government and meaning that they some of them may or may not work with the um, American government and then the other half do not work with them at all and those are the ones that's fighting basically the ones that are, are doing their own thing and the ones that's with the government they're at war with one another so the whole thing is like if you don't believe that check out different shows you can look at narcos whatever look at sicario that's a great show, uh, movie that shows a lot about that um you know basically when it comes down to it and i think ghost would probably be in the middle of that understand something about ghost ghost has fought uh, many many people he's fought against what the mafia he's fought against you know um the Serbian Mafia, the Russian Mafia, the cartel. He has done this for a long time. He was the biggest drug dealer in New York and he has pretty much came across all of this. So if the government gets him and they, they bring him in, they bring him in and they use him to fight against the cartels like he teams up with whoever he teams up with to go against them while they're faking his death. Basically, they're going to use him and use his help because of how smart he is. Will he return eventually? I do believe so. Will he return to be Lieutenant Governor? Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? All I know is when it comes down to it the position he's in now the position i think he's in he has way more power more than being a governor or a lieutenant governor when you're on the inside and you're in the war and, and things of that nature you have way more power so now ghost in my opinion has obtained some sort of power where it's like he's invincible what i mean by that is this right here okay for example and i know this is crazy i know you guys are gonna say what the heck are you talking about listen but vin diesel for fast and furious 
All right, Vin Diesel and them started as a street gang, and now they're pretty much working. They work. They work with the FBI with Hobbs, and then they work for the CIA, right? That sort of realistically, I think Ghost's character is going through that, but in, but realistically, and what I mean is that he has he's moving like a a like what a hitman or agent something like that that's what he's moving like so i think that is what's happening with ghost which means he has way more power than a governor or lieutenant governor point blank period he's there that's what i think is going on with ghost now i'm gonna be real with you i could be wrong but that's just me that's pretty much what i think um when in regards to that that's pretty much what i always thought that's the reason why I believe he fit. Your boy, Bobby Beast here. I just want to say much love, much respect. Hold it down and whoa. And this is my book. Shit's not checkers, it's chess. In life, everybody knows it's a game, but you got to learn how to play it.